30-year-old Jarrett Pantherbone was part of hip-hop groups in southern Alberta for years, but last year he decided to go solo. I'd say my style is more a lot to do with the West Coast, like Dr. Dre, Eminem, uh, Snoop Dogg, especially Snoop Dogg. He's one of my main inspirations. JPB was inspired by a native rapping group that came to the Reserve High School as a teenager. He decided that if they could do it, so could he. Hip-hop music doesn't come from our culture, but at the same time, with hip-hop music, with the youth and the younger generation, it speaks volumes to them. You know, it tells their story. It tells, although it's a harsh story, sometimes a harsh story needs to be told in order to get some positivity out of it, especially with doing music. Music is such a a therapeutic relief. It can make you happy, especially in times you're feeling very sad. The Rising Star's new music video comes out tonight and his album later this year. His hope is to be nominated for an Indigenous Music Award, a prestigious honour for this self-directed artist who even edits his own tracks. But for him, it's more than just gaining success. Residential is very hush-hush, but now they're more, more or less bringing it to the front lines and bringing it to the forefront of what really happened and what the people here went through. My generation is going to be the spark and the light that they fought for and survived for. JPB grew up on the reserve with his grandmother, who was a residential school survivor. See this red house here? His lyrics tell the story of his people, giving those not only from the blood tribe but across the country hope. After our interviews, I asked him to teach me one of his songs. Well, let's do My City. My uh, City, okay, uh, ready? let's do it. Okay. I ride for my city. I ride for my city. I hustle for my city. I hustle for my city. Show everybody how I rose in my city. Show everybody how I rose in my city. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. For Bridge City News, I'm Josie Foster and this is JPB. Yeah.